Number 20, in this figure over here, particle A moves along the line y equals to 30 meters with a constant velocity v of magnitude 3 meters per second and parallel to the x-axis. At the instant particle A passes the y-axis, particle B leaves the origin with a zero initial speed and a constant acceleration A of magnitude 0.4 meters per square second. What angle? theta between A and the positive direction of the y-axis would result in a collision. So we want particle A and B to collide, so at some point the position of particle A, let's call it RA, must be equal to the position of particle B, RB. So as a consequence of this, the x component of the position of particle A must be equal to the x component of particle B and the y component of particle A must be equal to the y, y component of particle B, but this is not true for the whole movement, but must be true somewhere. So this must be true somewhere. So we have to write the y and the x component of the, the, the position of both particles. So since the acceleration in this problem is constant, you see, the particle A doesn't have any acceleration and particle B has a constant acceleration, we can use this equation over here, x equals to xo plus vot plus at squared over 2, so this is just the default equation, and then we have to make some modifications to apply to our cases over here. So let us first write the x position of particle A, it starts with the initial position in the x direction equals to zero, so this term is zero for particle A, the, com the x component of particle A, the initial velocity is three, right? Three, so VO is three times T and acceleration, it doesn't exist, acceleration for particle A. The y white component <coughs> of particle A is just 30 and it doesn't change. Right, so this describes the motion of particle A. For particle B, we notice that it starts from x equals to zero, the initial velocity is zero as well, so you see, zero initial speed, but it has some acceleration, and we have to decompose the acceleration, in acceleration into one y component and an x component, the x component is equal to the magnitude of the acceleration times the sine of the angle and the y component is equal to the magnitude of the vector which is 0.4 times the cosine of the angle. So I just make the decomposition of vector A. So x0 is equal to 0 for particle B, B, V0 is equal to 0 for particle B, the acceleration in the x direction is equal to the magnitude of the acceleration, which is 0 0.4 times the sine of the angle times t squared divided by 2, and the y component of particle B is the same as before, however the acceleration is it's the acceleration in the y direction. So it is 0 0.4 times cosine of the angle times t squared over 2. So now we can apply this to those equations that we just discovered over there. So we have that 3t is equal to, let's cross this out, 0.2 sine of the angle times t squared and we also have that 30 is equal to 0 0.2 cosine of the angle t squared so this is what we know okay so i can cross this out over here so this t with this squared so this equation becomes 3 equals to 0 0.2 sine of theta times t, so t is equal to 3 over 0 0.2 sine of the angle. And then we can replace this t squared by this equation over here. So let's send this over there, so it's 30 over 0 
and this is equal to the cosine of the angle times 3 over 0 0.2 sine of the angle and everything is squared okay so now what we can do is divide 30 by 0 0.2 and then we find 150 which is equal to the cosine of the angle over the sine squared of the angle times 3 squared divided by 0 0.2 squared okay so let's send this to the other side so this would be 150 times 0 0.04 divided by 9 this is equal to the cosine of the angle over sine of the angle squared okay so this is let's see this is 6 over 9 6 over 9 is equal to the cosine is that it? 6 over 9? I guess is equal to the cosine of the angle over the sine of the angle squared however we know that the cosine squared of the angle plus the sine squared of the angle is equal to 1 so sine squared is equal to 1 minus the cosine squared of the angle so we can replace sine squared by 1 minus cosine squared so and this is 2 thirds divided by 3 and just 2 over 3 times the co equals to the cosine of the angle over 1 minus the cosine squared of the angle sorry the cosine squared of the angle so let's send this to the other side so we have the 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3 the cosine squared of the angle equal to cosine of the angle so we're going to send this to the other side so we have minus 2 over 3 cosine squared of the angle minus cosine of the angle plus 2 over 3 equal to 0 so we have to solve this equation and if you can't see what you have to do just notice that you can replace cosine of the angle by some variable let's call it I don't know x but it's not this x over here okay just a variable so minus two thirds of x my squared minus x plus 2 over 3 equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation and the solution for that is that x is equal to 1 over 2 so we find that the cosine of the angle is equal to 1 over 2 so the angle is equal to the cosine to the minus 1 of 1 over 2 so the angle is equal to 60 degrees and this is the answer of this problem over here